In this video, we are going to discuss the time response of undamped second order system for unit step input. So, in the last class, we discussed about second order system and what is meant by undamped and underdamped and uh, what is critically damped. We already discussed a, a video related to that second order system. So, here we are going to discuss the response of the system. So, we know the response of the system is nothing but C of t time response whatever responses here we are going to find out all those are time responses. So, time response of undamped second order system for unit step input here we are going to derive. So, when we are saying that is a second order system the basic transfer function of second order system is equal into omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n into s plus omega n square. So, this is the general transfer function of this second order system. So, now so, here another point is there undamped second order system we need to consider. In the last class itself we discussed that what is meant by undamped system. Undamped system is nothing but when zeta is equivalent to 0 whatever the transfer function we are getting that is for undamped system. So, to get an undamped system we need to substitute zeta is equivalent to 0. Then we are going to get your T of S for undamped system. So, for undamped system zeta is equal to 0 that implies your transfer function will turn to omega n square divided by s square plus. So, here if zeta is equal to 0 this term will be equal to 0 s square plus omega n square. And here where T of s is equal to C of S by R of S. You know in control systems R of S is the reference input and C of S is the control output. So, output transform by input transform will provide you the transfer function. So, this transfer function now is equivalent to for undamped system that is equivalent to S square by omega n square. We consider the transfer function of second, second order undamped system and here if you know this R of S then definitely you can find out C of S by sending this R of S to this side. If you have C of S then it, that is very easy to find out C of T by taking inverse Laplace transform. Now I am talking about this R of S. R of S is nothing but input. Here our input is unit step signal. So, we are finding this time response of this second adder undamped system for the unit step input. Unit step input means your R of t is equal to u of t. So, that means your input is equal to u of t. So, u of t is nothing but 1 when t greater than or equal to 0. If you are considering R of s, so then the Laplace transform of u of t you need to consider that is equal to 1 by s. You know the Laplace transform of unit step function that is equal to 1 by s. So, now you can see I am going to substitute that R of S here. I want only C of S. So, I can send my R of S to this side and I can substitute 1 by S in place of R of S. 1 by S into omega n square divided by S square plus omega n square. I got my C of S. Now, this is very easy to find out the time response of this second order system by taking inverse Laplace transform to this C of S. Time response of the system is nothing but response of the system in terms of time, time domain. So, that means C of t. Here I am having C of s. To find C of t or to apply inverse Laplace transform, if you observe this equation, this equation is not in that easy form to convert by using simple inverse Laplace transform equations. I want to make like that. So, this is in the form of omega n square divided by s into s square plus omega n square. So, here I am taking partial fractions a by s plus b s plus c divided by s square plus omega n square. So, I am taking like this partial fractions like this. So, this is equal to I am writing a into s square plus omega n square. So, plus s into b s plus c divided by s into s square plus omega n square. If you compare these two, 
if you compare the denominators, denominators are going to cancel. If you compare numerator, I want to compare the omega n square coefficient. So, in this total equation, omega n square coefficient is a. So, here omega n square coefficient this side is equivalent to 1. So, here a is equivalent to 1 and coming to s square coefficients. Now, in this two numerators, I want to compare s square coefficients. s square coefficient is a. Here also one s square is there, s into b s s square. So, a plus b is equivalent to, so this side I am not having any s square. So, a plus b is equivalent to 0. Both sides if you compare s square coefficients, so here s square coefficient is 0, here s square coefficients are a plus b. So, now you know the value of a, if a equivalent to 1, if a plus b is equivalent to 0, b is equivalent to minus 1. Coming to c. If you compare S coefficients on both sides in the numerator, so this side we are not having any S coefficient that is equivalent to 0, this side S coefficient is only C, so C equivalent to 0. So all these partial fractions value if, if you applied in this equation, you are going to get in the place of A you are going to get 1 by S. So in the place of B I need to consider minus S divided by C value is 0, so S square plus omega N square. So now my equation in the form to apply inverse Laplace transform easily. Now C of S is equivalent to 1 by S minus S by S square plus omega N square. Now to get C of T take inverse Laplace transform of 1 by S minus S by S square plus omega N square. Now here we know that inverse Laplace transform of 1 by S is again U of T or you can consider 1. Why I am considering 1? In my mind I fixed that whatever the equation here I am taking when I am drawing signal for that I need to consider that signal from T greater than or equal to 0. Whether you need to write U of T here or you need to consider the condition for T greater than or equal to 0. So, here inverse Laplace transform of 1 by S is unit step function U of T or 1 minus. So, here inverse Laplace transform of this is cos omega n. So, this is cos omega n. Inverse transform of this is cos omega n t. So, cos omega n t. So, here for t greater than or equivalent to 0. This is for t greater than or equivalent to 0. Now, Coming to the equivalent signal for this, we will get signal like this. So, you are going to get like this. So, this is the response of your system that will be in cosine form. So, this is your C of t, time response of the system when time response of the second order undamped system when the input is unit step. So, then the response will be 1 minus cos form. So, 1 minus cos omega nt will be your undamped second order response for unit step function.